Okay, so applied web design, we did a two-column layout. Let's do a three-column, and we'll start with the two-column layout that we have. So the first thing you want to do is let's just keep the two-column because it already has a link to main.css. It already has a section tag with a class of wrapper that's going to allow us to play around with background graphics and other items for layout. So the first thing you want to do is just do a file save as, and then save it as three-column. Layout. Let's change the two to a three and click save, and you're almost there. The only thing here now is we're going to leave all these tags that were in this content article, and we're going to leave all the tags on the aside. We just need to add one more div and make sure they all add up to eight. They'll all go into section. So, one of the things you can do, you try this out here, is we could try putting a nav bar on the left. So we give it a, a nav tag, and we give it a class equals, and then we can call it main nav, and then we'll put a space, and we'll do a span three. We'll close it. And then um, if we have a span three here, we should change the last one to span three. So that's six, so this should be a span of six. So a span of three, span of six, span of three, they all add up to 12. And that should give us what we need. And what we're gonna do is put our navigation bar right in here. So you may wanna start with the header one for now. Well, we won't, we'll just go ahead and do an unordered list. And create a list of links, which we should have put in our other two column, but for now we'll just start here and we'll go from there. Remember the href, you go to the pound sign so that it's just a dummy tag, and we'll put on here link one. And there's our first list, and we're just going to copy that and paste it two more times. So we'll have a link one, one for two, one for three. There's our unordered list of links. Save your changes, and then just to label it, let's just label it anyway, and we'll put a header one um, nav bar. Now you probably won't do this, but I'm going to label it because it's going to be easier to see if this is working right or not. So it's three column. All we did is, let me just collapse these. Okay, so here's the trick. We have a row fluid on our section, and we have three main block level tags. One that has a span of three, one that's a span of six, one that's a span of three. In our nav, we have our header one. And then we have an unordered list of links going basically nowhere for now because it's just a template. It's like a wireframe. In our article, we have a header one in several paragraphs. And then in our aside, we have a header one in two paragraphs. In the end, this is what it looks like. I'm going to pause on here for a moment. All right, let's go ahead and launch this and see if our three column is working okay. So I'll launch the three column. We'll do it in Chrome. I do it in Firefox, but it seems to take forever for the browser to load. Uh, I'd rather just have Chrome. It fires up pretty quickly. And now I have my three columns, nav bar on the left, content, and then sidebar section. If I highlight them, you can see the gutters in between each of those sections. You'll also see, of course, that um, our three columns that are here, Okay, at this point we've got our three column. Let's do a mixed layout and we'll take the two column and we'll add to it. So go back to, oh, I want you to open up your two column layout. Before you open two column, why don't you get this um, nav tag in here. I'd like you to copy this in the content and, and put your navigation bar into the two column. Okay, so just copy the nav. We forgot to do that in our two column. So now we're going to open up the two column. And in your header, go ahead and put it in the header. Like so. I'm going to get rid of my header one that says nav bar. I don't need that. I only did that for my three column because I wanted to, each of my columns to start with the header one. They look more even that way. And so I'm putting the nav bar into the two column. And I'm going to save my changes. And then what we can do is we can now open up a, uh, we're going to save this as mixed. So we have our two column, our three column, we'll just call it mixed column layout. 
and save our changes. So I'm going to look for three of these. When you're done, I think your nav bar should link, each page should link to the other or link to all three when you're done. Um, okay, so this is our mixed column layout. It starts as a two column, but it's called mixed, so there you go. All right, so what we're going to do is I'd like you on your mixed column layout, what we're going to do is underneath our two columns, we are going to create another section that has more than two. So call it a section if you want. This could be the footer to a page as well. I'm just going to call this a section, and I'm going to give it a class of row fluid. You may want to give it another class so you can style other parts of it. So this might be um, extra. And so this will just be an extra div that has a bunch of uh, evenly spaced columns inside of it. So should we do three or four? Since we haven't done four, well, let's do four. So we have a section that has a class of row fluid. So nothing's in it yet. Let's go ahead and create all of our little divs that go inside. So it's a class div, class equals, and this is going to be a span three. And you should go ahead and put a little header in there. This time we'll do a header two just to mix it up. And we'll put one of four. So all I want to do is copy that, and we're going to use this as our model. So we need all of our spans to add up to 12. Since we're going to do four evenly spaced, they will all be span of three. 12 divided by three is four. Easy, right? Okay. Just going to paste the next one in. Excuse me. Wrong one. This is what I meant to copy. And this will be two of four. Be three of four. And then finally, we'll do four of four. Notice every div has a span of three. They're all inside of row fluid. There are no extra tags to break these up. And that's key. Anything can go inside of the divs that you want. Maybe little images, bulleted lists, whatever you want to do inside of these is up to you. Just make sure that these divs have nothing in between one and the other from top to bottom. Save your changes and let's view it and see if that works. This time we'll go to Chrome. And there we have it. Now we have our hello world. We've got our content section. Wow, this is all kind of messed up. What did I do wrong? Let's see. I have an error. Oh, I just closed the window. Hold on. Okay, something screwed up here, and I'm not entirely sure what it is. What I will, oh, I know what it is. Span three right here. I messed it up. I'm gonna get rid of that. I will. I do recommend we try something here. Watch this. Our header, let's give this a class of row fluid. This is entirely optional. On a mixed layout, everything is optional as long as you're using the grid system and things line up right and they look appropriate. Our header one, we'll give it a class of span, and this time we'll do a span four. And then our nav will have a class of span eight. Okay. So we'll add that to our nav. And now at this point, this should work. Let's see if this does. Um, but you saw how it was all messed up before. Let's go back to the page. See that hello world, the nav. That ha the nav had a span of three, which hurt this content section, which then hurt this sidebar. So all that got messed up. We hit refresh, and now there's our header. There's our nav bar. And then, of course, we're going to turn that nav bar into a horizontal nav bar and then everything should look good when we're done with that but for now this looks good for us and let's just add a little bit of extra style I'll let you guys do that but let me just show you how we can add some um, some slight styles just so you can modify it so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put some borders around our content Actually, I'm going to put borders around the content, the sidebar. Oops, I need the dot in front of it. And then I'm going to also do this around our left, um, left column and the three column. 
Remember we had this uh, class, oh, we had a class of main nav. So you can add that if you want. For now, I'm just going to leave it for content and sidebar. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a border around all this so we can illustrate. 1px solid, and I'll just do gray for now. And then I'll do a border radius to round the corners out. Get a 10 pixel border radius. And then a, um, oh, we'll do a padding of 10 pixels too. Move that over a little bit. So now when we save our changes and we view the mixed column layout, We can now see our borders around the main and the sidebar, and you can see the gutter real easily. And we can also do it around all of our other divs that are on here. I will let you figure out how you want to style those. If, if it were me, I would add an extra uh, class to these divs here and then target that new class with it. The last thing I want to do is go over guidelines. Number one, you can't break up the grid system by introducing a tag in between. Number two, anything with the span, they must add up to 12 in all. However, we can get rid of one of these and we can offset it if we want. So I could get rid of this last one and I could give this an offset of three. And the key here is these numbers all need to add up to 12. So the spans and the offsets all put together, if they add up to 12, you're good. So let's take a look at what that looks like. So 1 of 4, 2 of 4, 3 of 4, well, it should be of 3, honestly. But we're doing a span uh, 3, and we're doing 4. And that's just with an offset. I'm not saying you need to do that. In fact, it actually looks worse, in my opinion, doing it that way. But at least you know you can do it if you need to. Okay. So I think that's it um, as far as guidelines go. Oh, the last guideline, guys, if you want to style something like extra, give it a new class and style the new class you added. Don't try to change span four, span three. Leave those alone. So if you want your content to have a border around it, add content to your class, style it on your style sheet here. I think that's it.